My name is Sammy. I'm a student of Ayurveda with Mahavidya Yoga and Ayurveda School. And I'm here to share with you today a recipe on one of my favorite things to make, which is ghee. And it's one of the most revered substances in Ayurveda. And I'm excited to show you how to make it today. So first of all, you'll need some butter, a cutting board and a knife to cut the butter, a pan to cook the ghee in, something to pour the warm ghee into. It's nice to have a funnel for spillage and something to strain the ghee with, like a flour towel or a cheesecloth would work. And then the last thing you're gonna need is a clean jar to store the ghee in. Once you have all those things, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is cut your butter. Now, it's best to use unsalted, cultured, raw butter. If you can find cultured, unsalted, raw butter, that's great. When you're in the grocery store and you're looking for butter, pick the unsalted and then look at the ingredients and you want it just to say milk or cream. You don't want any extra ingredients. So you're gonna wanna cut the butter in little cubes like this so that it cooks evenly in your pan. So once you have your butter all cut up into cute little cubes, you'll get your pan and you're gonna set it on medium heat. So go ahead and choose a smaller size burner and you're gonna set the pan to in between medium and low heat. You can go ahead and add your butter to the pan. And the butter is gonna slowly start to melt. And a quick note here, I'm using just eight ounces of butter, but you can always use more or less. It's going to take more time to cook if you use more butter, and it'll probably take less time to cook if you use less than eight ounces. So less than five minutes have gone by, and you can see that the butter is almost already is almost all the way melted already so you can see now the butter is all the way melted and it's starting to foam up and bubble a little bit it's normal for it to be bubbly and cloudy and now it'll start to change into a more of a clear golden color as it cooks Once it really starts to bubble like this, I turn it down all the way to low heat. You can stir it, but I usually just stir it at the top. I try not to move the particles that are settling at the bottom. So what's happening during the ghee making process is we're removing the water content from the butter. So you're essentially cooking out the water and leaving just the fat that's left from the butter. And because you're removing the water, that fat is now shelf stable. You could leave it out on your counter just like you would a coconut oil. There's no need to refrigerate it once you remove the butter, um, remove the water from the butter. So you can see it's starting to get less cloudy and more clear, more golden looking than yellow. And that's what we want. It's been less than 15 minutes. So the ghee is looking like it's almost done. And two of the ways you can check if it's done is you can do the glass test. If the glass that you hold on over it steams up, it's still got water in it. So 
So it's got very little steam coming there in the glass. Little bit of steam, but not too much. The other way you can test is by the smell. It's almost there. The smell changes from a dairy, milky smell to more of a nutty smell. Toasted nut. So you can see here, the ghee is a nice golden color now. And it's clear, you can see through it. And the smell has got a nutty toastedness to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the fire. You're going to wanna let that cool off a little bit after you turn off the fire. And then we'll go ahead and strain it. Once you've let your ghee cool off a little bit, you can get it ready to strain. So you wanna grab your Pyrex, get your funnel, and put your flour towel or your cheesecloth in place. Go ahead and grab your pan of ghee. It's nice and golden brown, and it's okay if it's a little bit dark. Uh, if it's a little bit brown, you just don't want it very dark, dark brown, like black. So then you'll go ahead, carefully pour it, and it's gonna strain out all of those milk solid parts. Go ahead and lift out your flour towel or cheesecloth. Let all that nice golden oil drip out. Don't squeeze it, because you don't want any of the particles to push through the little holes. And that's it. Go ahead and store it in your container. And that's it, you've made ghee. You can store it on your shelf, just like you would coconut oil. It's shelf stable, and you can use it to cook just like you would butter or oil. There's many other ways to enjoy ghee medicinally, and if you'd like to learn about them, I suggest checking out Mahavidya's program and connecting with me via Instagram. I'll tag both of our Instagrams here below. If you have any questions, please reach out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you stay well.